Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, and as some of you know from the trailer I put up a couple of weeks ago, I'm working on a sub-mod for the Outer Kings that adds the Dwemer and some Dwemer-based features, but I need some feedback from you guys, because I don't really know what to do with it right now. So I'll show you what I've got so far, and then I'll sort of ask you guys for suggestions for events, cultural things, uh, some societies as well that I'm going to be showing off, and I will take your feedback and the good stuff I'll add to the game and the bad stuff I'll ignore. <laughs> so... Here's what I've done so far. So you can pretty much start in any age. I'm probably going to limit it so that the Dwemer only show up in the Interregnum. Because you've got to remember, in the Elder Scrolls lore, this is about 2,500 years since the Dwemer disappeared. So it doesn't make sense there any, anyway. But I kind of like the idea of having someone around maybe in the first bookmark, for those of you who want to, like, roleplay a, a Dwemer resurrection or whatever. So if we put the Interregnum here, the first bookmark, you see there are some Dwemer provinces. I've kept it in Skyrim mostly, but also some in Morrowind, just to show the sort of... Dwemer being pushed out into more and more remote areas. And these are legitimate locations that were Dwemer settlements as well. I haven't just picked randomly. So we've got uh, Gloin of Aphand. We have Ocri of Bleakwall. Um, that's not right at all. We have Baron Brockia of Varanus. Yagrum. Yagrum Bagar of Darklight. Uh, that's not actually Yagrum Bagar. Bardin of Arquind. Uh, Eatry of Sungard. Tyrion of Skyhammer. And Thorin of that place. <coughs> Good luck with that one. So those are the those are the dwarf settlements that are actually based roughly on some that we've seen in Skyrim and also I've I've been working a lot from the from the different Elder Scroll wiki as well. So we're gonna go with Baron Gloin of Afan just for this example. Now you may have noticed that the Dwemer themselves look a bit different. Now they don't look like this in game. In game they look like snow elves from what I remember, but that didn't really suit it. So I've had a look around and I've looked through what is some of the best fan interpretations of what the Dwemer look like. Because in Morrowind, they just look like um, they just look like dark elves. Because I think they only actually like an actual Dwemer appears as a ghost. Besides Yagrim Began, the big old fat corpus guy, they only appear as a ghost, and they reuse the same mold that they did for Dwemer. So I've based it partially on Dwemer, but I'm also using this uh, concept art that I found on ArtStation. I'll put a link to that below. I'm not going to try and pronounce the artist's name, so I'm going to fuck it up. So I'll, I put a link to that below in the description. I'll pin it in a comment as well. I'm basing a lot of the looks of the Dwemer on this artwork here. Now, I've been messing around with the beards, and I messed around with it yesterday and sort of ruined that they're, they're a little bit off-center now. But if we can find one that, that is on-center, I'll sort of show you the idea that I'm going for here. Now, all of the, the hairstyle options are beards. For beards, obviously. Um, you can't go without a beard, that is. So if we go for something like... I think that looks fairly Dwemery. I think that's pretty close to the concept art. Now, I want to make the beards a bit more crazy. This is just very, very early. This is something that I put about five minutes worth of effort into. But that's what I'm going for in terms of looks. Now, as much as I'd like to put those gold discs and things in it, unfortunately, as you can see, I've, I've added some little ornaments there to some of these uh, some of these beard strands and into the hair a little bit. That recolors, because the way CK2 engine deals with hair, that recolors depending on your hair color. So if I change it to this guy, you can see they look a bit more golden. This guy, they're, they're the same color as his hair. So... Fortunately, there's no real easy way to add ornamentation and things besides doing a picture overlay. Like, say, when you get wounded, obviously it adds a scar to your character. If I were to, say, when people have a Dwemer trait, try and add something relevant to that, but it's quite complex to do something like that, so I'm probably not going to bother with it. And just stick to large beards and large hair, because that's what the Dwemer are about. Anyway, let's get rid of that concept art now. So, the other thing I've added is uh, an official culture and religion for the Dwemer. There is no Dwemer religion, because the Dwemer aren't religious, but I'll talk about that when we get to the actual feature screen. The Dwemer culture I've taken and expanded upon a little bit, because in the game, there are no Dwemer. Like, the Elder Kings developers have said that this is, like, like I said at the start of the video, 2,500 years after the Dwemer went extinct. So they'll never appear in game. The culture exists, but it's more like a placeholder. There's, there's no features or anything like that. So I fleshed that out a little bit um, and added a custom religion, but we'll sort of discuss that in a second. We'll play as Baron Nevedi of Afhand. And again, this is just a, this is just showing off the features. This isn't a new series or anything. And when it loads, you can see what I've done. Now, I haven't done a lot, but what I've done is tried to get a skeleton in place so that I can build extra features on quite easily. I focused on the foundation more than anything else and polished up the sort of very base level of it. So, first thing you might notice, I've added a custom religion. So, this is Dwemer, Dwemer group, unsurprisingly. Now, in the lore, the Dwemer didn't worship any gods or deeds or anything like that. They actively went against it. They were sort of like... They weren't atheists. They were anti-theists. Like, they were actively against the gods. They believed that they themselves could be as strong as the gods. And maybe that's what happened because they did mysteriously disappear. But no one really knows. So, to make up for the fact there are no religion features whatsoever. Like, even on the religion screen, I haven't done anything. I haven't even put holy sites, which is why there's this uh, 2K2 placeholder image. 
But because there is no religion features at all, and piety is really not going to do much besides magic, what I've done is I've given them a slight boost to tech points. It's not a huge amount, but being a Dwemer probably should give you a boost to tech points. And again, it's not much, but that will multiply with uh, tech point modifiers, things like that. And a little bit extra technology spread rate, so as the Dwemer grow there, obviously their technology will spread out as they do. And we've got the Dwemer culture there. I haven't done anything special for that yet, but I want to know some feedback from you guys for special Dwemer features and events. So like, uh, sort of the Dwemer equivalent of feasts, maybe some big invention meeting, maybe some uh, festival of steam. I'm just spitballing crappy ideas here, but you know, things like that that can replace some of the base CK2 events because they don't really have access to anything at all. So that's the generic starting point for the Dwemer. Now the other thing I've tried to add in a bit more de detail is the Tonal Architect Society. So, oh, it doesn't quite work because I'm using the bigger interface mod, but I'll fix that at some point. So, the Dwemer were quite a um, tight-knit society of people, from what I've read on the wiki. Um, they had some form of telep like uh, telepathy? That's the right word, isn't it? They had some form of telepathy where they could communicate with one another, and they were, they were like kind of a collective, almost. So, it kind of makes sense having a society. Now, luckily, the game has already populated this for us. The game will just do that. And you can sort of see the system I'm going for here. I want this to have bonuses related to building, to tech points, to learning, things like that. It's primarily a learning-based society, so as you can see there, members' learning is boosting up the influence. Very low influence society to start off with because there are no Dwemer left. This is, this is pretty much all the Dwemer. And I had to allow courtiers to join as well because societies need 30 members before they can be formed and there just aren't enough Dwemer to allow that. So I've allowed courtiers to also join this. Some of the ranks, we've got uh, Architect, Mage Crafter, Master Crafter, and High Craft Lord. That's what uh, the Nerevering called uh, Kagranek, which is where I'm basing a lot of these from. So these are all like from lore. I'm not just pulling this out of my ass. A little description there. And any powers or anything? This is another thing I wanted some feedback on, some ideas for. Um, I, that's just a sort of generic placeholder one I've come up with. So Tonal Resonance, use your knowledge to decrease build time and build cost. Now, I haven't actually finished any of the events yet, so you can't even join the society. It just won't do anything. That's something I really want to flesh out, and I want a lot of the gameplay to come from the society to make up for the fact that, like I said, there's no religion gameplay at all because of just the way dwarfs are in the Elder Scrolls. The other thing I wanted to ask for suggestions for are buildings as well. Buildings, I think, are going to be quite important, especially with Dwemer. You're probably going to be playing tall, seeing as you aren't going to have many provinces. It's going to be really hard to take other provinces. So you're going to want to play tall and play like fortified as well, if that makes sense. Sort of like turtling. Uh, there are some base game Dwemer buildings. So we've got Dwemer Spear Quarters, Mage Quarters, and Amunculary, etc. I would like to add a lot more to that. I would like to add the um, the Observatory, which you had in uh, obviously Skyrim and Oblivion as well, towards the end. And having various like machineries, maybe to help retinue upkeep, things like that. Now, speaking of which, I've also added some custom retinues in the form of Centurions. Oh, that's a bit overpowered. Holy shit. I need to fix that. That's, that's my fault, probably missing a, missing a one or a two where I didn't mean to put that. Uh, we've got Dwemer Spheres and Airship Squadrons. Airship Squadrons are a special unit. Now, there's not going to be many of them, but they are going to be powerful because they are airships. That is, again, something from lore, not something I've made up. I'd like something that buffs retinues. Because again, you're gonna have to play tall being dwarf. So I'm trying to trying to balance gameplay, and uh, and their culture. It's quite difficult. That's it. That's what I've got in place right now. I've got some things to fix, but as it is now, you could potentially play a game like this. It wouldn't be very good because you wouldn't have much to do. You would just be another sort of sub Aldmeri species doing what they would do. And if we let time tick, you'll see that they will get the Dwemer trait and everything added to them on the next month tick. Or at least they should. Unless the Outer Kings is trolling me here. Oh, you know what? There's a custom character, isn't it? Right. So, yeah, he won't have that because that was up to me to take. But the other guys, the, the guys that I actually added to the game to hold the starting promises will have that. Who else do we have? This guy here? Yeah. So, you can see these guys have their own traits and things like that. You can mark off there, dog. Good for him. Artifacts as well. I think it's going to be a good thing to work off of because the dwarfs are quite known for making their powerful artifacts and armors and stuff. I've got some in the works but I didn't want to spoil those in this episode and show them off. I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. If you've got any suggestions for the religion as well, I'm open to the idea of expanding on a religion but obviously it won't be a religion more or less. Um, I'm open to ideas to make it a bit better than just having nothing because I really don't like it when obscure base game religions have nothing going for them. 
So I'd kind of like this to have something rather than just being completely blank with a few holy sites thrown in there to cover up this horrible placeholder. Another thing to mention, I am working on a custom government type. I didn't think feudal was pretty appropriate for them. Seeing as that, like I said, they're not really a feudal, they're a, they're a collective. So all the dwarven settlements you see in, in, uh, in Skyrim are obviously connected to that huge sub underground Dwemer city. So it's not really a case of one lord holding land when they all sort of shared it. Um... I'm working on a custom government type. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it too much. I have some ideas in the works, but again, I haven't finished it quite yet. This is still very, very early days for the mod. I'm, I'm trying to find time as and when I can to just chip away at it slowly. Let me know your ideas. I will have a sift through the comments, see what we've got. But I've got a lot of my own as well, but mine aren't very good. <laughs> to be honest, I'm just working from the wiki, and I don't want it to just be sort of a, a copy and paste from that. I want some like original ideas from you guys as well, just because I think that would be quite fun to add them. And you can get something put into a mod. And obviously I'll be releasing this mod as well. This is fully independent as long as you've got the Elder Kings. I haven't done any editing to that. This is all self-contained. doesn't have any dependencies or anything. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.